Hello. Hello. We're back. <laughs> <laughs> back in the Cotswolds. Yes. So this weekend we are at Cotswold Hill. Hello, Dotty Milo. <laughs> <laughs> this weekend we're at Cotswold Hills Country Park. Um, it's in Chipping Norton, which is part of the Cotswolds. So we should have been here a couple of weeks ago with um, do little campers for their post wedding um, do that we'd booked here. It looks like they had a fantastic time. Unfortunately, um, work and life happen. <laughs> yeah, we couldn't make it that weekend, so we thought we'd cancel. We couldn't cancel, so we had to reschedule so here we are but claire and david congratulations yep. on your marriage well and done. we wish you all the very best for the future love you guys so what are we going to do while we're here well we've brought the bikes we hope we've got all the bits <laughs> so we can actually get going on the bikes we but may or may not have my battery <laughs> <laughs> i'm not cycling it without a battery that's for sure <laughs> But if we have got the battery, um, we'll make sure it's all charged up. And yeah, the intention was to get out and about. Mm -hmm. farm. Um, we have no intention of buying anything. <laughs> I do believe from someone else's video that it's about six pounds to purchase just the empty glass bottle that you then take outside and pay to then purchase your milk to fill it up. Um, apart from the fact that I can't drink milk. Yeah, it's pretty pointless. <laughs> but there we go. Mm -hmm. uh, but it'd be nice to go and have a little little poke around and have a little photo by Diddley Squat Farm, you know, mm -hmm. whilst we're in the area. But um, there's, there's lots of lovely um, Cotswold villages around here. So hopefully, as we say, if the bikes are, are ready to go, then we'll be ready to go and we'll take you out and about with us to see what's around here. If not, we'll just hang around the campsite. Simple as that. It's a very lovely campsite. As yeah. I said, it's got 65 um, pitches. We're on a um, hard standing with electricity. And yeah, fancy pitch, you know, it's actually quite weird to pull out that cable. Yeah, you know, electric. Have electric What's coming that? out of some a hole in the ground. That was weird. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, it's, it's really nice. Um, the weather is, oh, I'd say it's about 21 degrees. Cloudy, a little bit humid, but... Um, a little bit windy. The, the breeze is quite nice yeah. at the moment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so stay tuned and we'll show you what happens whilst we're here at Cotswold Hills. Yep. We forgot the battery for Kaz's bike. So I quickly came to the nearby shelf to get us some ice creams as consolation. And we're still in the Cotswolds. A handy addition we've made to our van on a recommendation from the Frenchies Motor Homies, Mike and Kirsty. Are those shade curtains? They work extremely well. We're very happy with it. Thumbs up. So does anyone else have a map in their motorhome, caravan, camper van and mark off all the counties that they've been to? This is ours. Now we were given this when we had herb. So we've not done any of this top section of Scotland because we haven't been to Scotland in the motorhome. So it gives us a good excuse to go back so we can cross those off. And currently we are here in Oxfordshire, which is where the Cotswolds are based. So another one to scratch off. What's the crack? Hey, what's the crack? So, as you see, we have quite a nasty crack in our window. And 
whilst we're not a hundred percent sure how it got there we think that it was due to the farmer cutting the grass in the field next to where we live um, we're lucky enough to be able to store our motor home on the driveway and we think a stone has been thrown out at speed from the cutter and has made a nice crack in our window. So we looked at several options of replacing this. Number one was we'll buy the window ourselves, put it in ourselves, because it's just a simple job of um, unscrewing this front panel, the actual window itself, taking it off and putting on a new one. That was until we priced up <laughs> the cost of a new window. So then I thought, okay, might cost us our excess, but let's have a look and see what the insurance company say because i couldn't say for sure how it was broken i rang them up and explained they they kept saying how is it i said i don't know i can't say for sure i said we went there they said it could have been vandalized or it could have been a stone from the grass cutter i said all i know is we didn't do it we had already contacted our local dealer in fact where we got um roxy from to see how much they would charge for rep repairing the window and it was upwards of 900 pounds and that was with us fitting it. The, the motorhome dealership wanted to charge upwards of 900 pounds. And as I said, that was with us fitting it. So when I spoke to the insurance company, he said, yes, that's fine. Um, that's something that's covered by your policy. Get a quote from your dealership. So we went back to the motorhome dealership. Now, all of a sudden, now we're going through the motor, uh, going through the motor insurance they need to fit it themselves. So now another 100 pounds has been added on for fitting as well. Anyway. It seems that this is an out of stock, no longer produced window. We have sourced it from Bailey's at Bristol ourselves. So we knew that they could get one. I tried to get a couple of quotes from various window fitters and everything like that. We ended up going to Bailey Direct and getting hold of the engineering drawings to see if we could get somebody to quote on uh, 1100 by 550 millimeter size window. and. Yeah, to be fair, there was one company that was prepared to make one up, but it was, again, in the region of about £1,000 to do that. The window from Bailey was a four-week wait, and even now our insurance company has approved the quote, and the motorhome dealership has gone ahead and ordered the part. That was more than four weeks ago. I mean, luckily, the weather hasn't been that bad, so we're not too worried. There doesn't seem to be any water ingress, um, through this but we would like this done pretty sharpish now as we are moving on to less favorable weather but um yeah expensive that's an expensive um window for sure i think we have definitely made the right choice by making an insurance claim i'd also like to point out that while there is a crack in the window that doesn't look like it's that waterproof this window is double skinned so yeah while we might end up with a a place to grow sea monkeys in the bottom of the window. I don't think the weather is going to come through the window and affect us inside. So come with me and we'll take a look around the site. Here just behind me, we have the ladies and gents facilities. So let's take a little look in there. I'll just check there's no one in there first. We don't want any nasty surprises. You can hear this and I don't want to get a copyright strike, but they're piping music into the ladies showers and they're currently playing Ghostbusters. side of the block we have laundry and washing up room there's a disabled changing room and you've also got your LSAM waste two washers and one dryer queen operated just behind me you'll see some caravans that have been put there for storage and then this whole field behind me is for tents so they have their own separate area which I'm sure is lovely for them not worrying about motorhomes driving in and out, especially if they have children. A notice board with some useful information um, for local caravan servicing, breakdown, takeaway food, um, and instructions for things like fires. So all present and correct. And they do have a dedicated dog disposal waste bin. A lot of the caravans here you'll see have massive awnings attached and these are seasonal pitches. They do have seasonal pitches here at Cotswold Hills. They seem to have a bit of everything. Motorhomes, camper vans, permanent pitches, lodges and tents. So really, no matter what your camping style, 
it's catered for here. As I said, they also have luxury lodges here. These are behind me and you can also purchase these. And campsite warden, busy cutting lawns as per most campsites at this time of the year, especially when it's sunny. It is lovely manicured lawns here. I have to say it's kept lovely, no leaves anywhere. Very impressed with this site so far. So the weather has changed a little bit here at Cotswold Hills Country Park. Um, nice and breezy, no longer the horrible humid temperature that we've been going on the last couple of days. Still just a scenic with the grey clouds in the sky. Look at that behind us. That's what we've had to put up with all weekend, that lovely view. So what would we say about Cotswold Hills Country Park? I'm glad we came. Yeah, I think the facilities are quite nice. It's a good family-based site. However, I think um, you end up with the best pitch if you've got a seasonal over here. This is where we're standing on somebody's pitch that looks like it was possibly seasonal, certainly long-term. And you've got the best views of the side. In the middle, we found it just a little bit noisy from the um, stony driveway. Yeah, the driveway runs yeah. right around our yeah. caravan. So if you come in, it comes yeah. in behind us. And if you go out, you go, it goes in front yeah. of us. But if that's all we've got to complain about, it can't be that bad. Yeah. Another nice weekend away. Yes. Time to head back and hit reality. Yes. See you in the next uh, one. Okay. Bye.